Who is Lord Panic, Man City's lawyer? It is no wonder that Manchester's proud musical history is vividly expressed through the songs that resonate in the Etihad Stadium stands. The brothers of the band Oasis, Noel and Liam Gallagher, often appear in Man City matches. So does Johnny Marr, guitarist of the Smiths. Man City's playlist regularly features work by local bands, and Panic, a song from the Smiths' 1987 album The World Won't Listen, was played at full volume after the win. City's 3-1 against Aston Villa last weekend. But unusually, Man City fans held up a banner with the opening lyrics of a famous song called Panic by the Smiths, Panic on the Streets of London. Panic is also the name of the lawyer who is helping Man City in the process of solving allegations of violations of the Premier League's financial fair play laws. The banner is the message that Man City fans have responded to the criticism aimed at their team during the past time. Last year, a statue was unveiled at the Etihad, depicting the club's most glorious moment to date, Sergio Aguero's more precious than gold goal in stoppage time to help City win the title. Premier League for the first time in the 2011-12 season. Since being sponsored by Abu Dhabi in 2008, Man City have won six Premier League titles and a host of other domestic honours, but those huge achievements are under serious threat after the weekend. Previously, the highest body of English football has accused the Etihad Stadium team of breaking more than 100 times of financial fair play. This is unprecedented in English football history. However, fans of the citizens completely believe in the club's expensive team of lawyers who will help this team soon get out of the surrounding troubles. In 2020, Man City's two-year Champions League ban for breaching financial rules was overturned by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, but these latest allegations could lead to more severe consequences. Even Man City being expulsed from the Premier League. The club will need a top lawyer, and Lord Panic is exactly that, according to people who know the 66-year-old lawyer. Catherine Barnard is professor of European law at Cambridge University and knows Lord Panic very well. The two met after Panic wrote the introduction to a book about law for teenagers. Barnard said, talking to Panic, I feel that he is an extremely humble and straightforward person, but his demeanor and demeanor do not make you think of a top lawyer. Panic was appointed advisor to the Queen and upon the death of Elizabeth II in 2022 he continued to serve as King's advisor. He is a leading trial lawyer in England and Wales, having worked three decades ago and his expertise is in public law, or the rules that govern relationships between people and politics. Government he was very popular and was considered one of the best minds of his generation, Barnard said. She also mentioned two incidents involving panic. The first is the case of campaigner and businesswoman Gina Miller successfully challenging the UK government over Brexit. In 2017, the Supreme Court ruled in favour of allowing MPs, members of Parliament, to vote on the UK's exit from the EU, rather than just allowing the government to do so unilaterally. The second case involving panic was in 2019, when British Prime Minister Boris Johnson asked the Queen to suspend the UK Parliament in an attempt to break the political deadlock over Brexit. The Supreme Court ruled that Johnson's decision was illegal. Panic caught the public's attention when he was the most prominent figure in the legal team that successfully pursued the two cases mentioned above. Parts of the court's litigation were shown on TV and captured the interest of constitutional story enthusiasts. Watching him argue the case on behalf of Gina Miller before the Supreme Court was a lesson in quiet but very shrewd and effective advocacy, Barnard said. Although on the opposite side of Johnson in court in the Brexit case, panic is the defense for the former British Prime Minister in the Partygate scandal that shocked the UK. That event took place during the COVID-19 period when Johnson, then still in office, PV, held a party with other officials despite the regulations on social distancing but was eventually discovered and faced with many serious charges. He takes cases on both sides because that's what lawyers are supposed to do, says Barnard.
Panic has also represented Topshop retail chain owner Sir Philip Green as well as Shamima Begum, a British-born woman who came to Syria to join the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant at the age of 15. Panic also defended Max Mosley, former president of the FIA, International Automobile Federation, in a case at the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg in 2011. In this case, Panic was unsuccessful, because UK law does not require newspapers to notify their victims before disclosing details about anyone's private life in the media. In 2008, the United Kingdom's High Court fined Mosley £60,000, $73,000, in punitive damages after ruling that it was impossible to punish the news of the world tabloid even though it posted an article with pictures, revealing details about Mosley's sex life. The principle that lawyers only advocate for their clients and not agree with them is an important principle in English law, although it is still controversial. Panic has been criticized for representing Arkady Rotenberg, an associate of Russian President Vladimir Putin, in 2014 and 2015 in a legal battle over sanctions imposed on him by the European Union. Critics have overlooked one of the fundamental pillars of the rule of law that distinguishes our society from Putin's Russia, Panic wrote in a letter to Britain's The Times. People have the right to get advice from lawyers about their legal rights and obligations, and they have the right to legal representation in court, regardless of whether their alleged conduct is reprehensible. This principle applies to political activists as well as to those accused of murder. Representing Man City is of course less controversial, but in this case Panic could still face a different kind of personal conflict of interest. When news of the allegations against City first broke, fans quickly discovered Murray Rosen KC, the lawyer the lawyer who headed the Premier League investigation panel was an Arsenal fan. Rosen, has been involved in sport his whole life, he is a member of MCC, Marylebone Cricket Club, and Arsenal FC, reads a deleted description in Rosen's bio on website for New Square. Not only Rosen, Panic's biography is also under the prism of public opinion. He was born in Islington, North London Borough, also where Arsenal is one of the most famous football teams. The presence of two Arsenal fans with prominent roles on both sides of this case is very interesting, as Man City are fiercely competitive with Arsenal. Another attorney very familiar with Panic is George Parrott's KC, who is currently on the opposite side of Panic in another lawsuit. It was amazing, I think anyone would put him on the list of top lawyers of his generation in public law, Parrott said. Panic is extremely smart, very concise, very efficient. He can turn what people think is very complicated into something accessible without oversimplifying. As journalists and fans scroll through the flood of financial allegations against City in the coming months and years, Panic's qualities are sure to be appreciated. But the essence of the matter is simple, whether City will be allowed to continue in the domestic league they have dominated for more than a decade.